Well, there is this understanding that that uh, cryptocurrency exchange is is something that that it either makes the coin a real coin or, or it shows that it's not a real coin. Um, I would say that that people need to have the possibility to enter a currency, which means exchange their current currency to a certain coin, and to and to exit the currency, so to exchange that coin back to their own currency. Mm. For that, we need to understand what is what is a currency exchange. A currency exchange is a, is a kiosk or a booth on the street or in a, in, a, in a supermarket where you go, you give, let's say you give euros and you get dollars back. You exchange one currency to another. Cryptocurrency exchange in that sense would be that you give euros and you get the cryptocurrency or you give one cryptocurrency and you get another cryptocurrency. That is a cryptocurrency exchange. Now, what have been taken as, as uh, public exchanges are, they're not exchanges, they're trading platforms. And there is a big difference because in a trading platform, you send your money there and it stays there so you can buy and sell different, different coins, different currencies. Now, but what is money meant to, to be used for? We don't buy currency every day. We don't go and buy and sell it. We don't buy euros or dollars. We don't buy and sell, buy and sell. We use them. We use them to, to purchase. We use them to, to pay for products or pay for services. So currency is something that should be used. It shouldn't be traded with. And, and those platforms, the cryptocurrency trading platforms, they actually, they support buying and selling. They support trading. Every time when you buy and when you sell, it affects the price. Because obviously when you're buying, the price is lower, hopefully. And when you sell, it's higher. But if it's lower, you're not the only one who is buying. And when it's, it's higher, you're not the only one who's selling. So you contribute in the mass movement and that affects the price. But all of this works against the usability of cryptocurrency. Because what we need is we need stability. We need stable price. So. Trading is something that works against the mass adoption, that, that mainstream adoption. We need to be able to use currency and, and people, they just need to have the possibility to enter and exit, not to trade with that. Trading with, with, with cryptocurrency is same as trading with a financial instrument. And, and in, in financial world, not everybody has the possibility to, uh, to access uh, trading platforms, which are used for, for trading with stocks. When, when you want to invest in stocks, you either do it through a bank or a broker, but there and there is a person who hopefully knows what he or she is telling you and advising you where to invest the money. Um, you can also create yourself an account on, on, with, a, with a broker, but uh, they're usually the investment is, is quite high and, and in a lot of places you have to go through a training, which is good. So people, people who, uh, not everybody can, can invest in stocks. You need to have some kind of advisor or some kind of knowledge, which is correct because it's, it's financial instrument. It's very easy to, to uh, lose your money with that. Of course, there's a possibility to win, but there's also a danger to lose. Now with cryptocurrency trading platforms, everybody has access to them. And since it's a financial instrument, it is dangerous. People who have no financial education have the danger to lose their money. And, and this is what actually is happening right now in the world. There, there is a small group who knows how to trade and they make a lot of money. They, they show off, they, they promote it, and that attracts a lot of people who don't have financial education to the same trading but they lose because they don't know what to do. But of course, everybody has a hope because media is saying that, uh, that crypto is the, is the place where to put your money, where to invest. It will, it will make you a millionaire, billionaire, whatever. But this is what people want. They want to improve their living standards. They want to improve their lifestyle. But there is not enough integrity in the world to, to show and to say that it's, there are threats it's not a guaranteed win. There is 50-50, it goes up or it goes down. 
And unfortunately, people have the luck to, to, to find the down way much faster than, than the way up. So uh, these trading platforms, um, I believe they should have like this entry kind of barrier so that not everybody would be, could go to these platforms and, and play with their money. Exchange is another thing. Exchange should be accessible for everybody. You give one, you get it back into your wallet. But these platforms where you send the money and it stays there for buying and selling, there should be a barrier. You should have financial education, there should be a training, or there should be somebody who is mm, advising you all the time. Then it would make sense. So I really hope that this uh, exchange and, uh, and trading platform mm, industry is, um, is going to change and that regulations come to, to distinguish them too so that, that the world would be more fair towards regular people who are actually the target market for, for cryptocurrency.